everyone, welcome back. Welcome back. We are going to be doing a Lemax Spooky Town haul video today, showing off the new pieces that we have purchased for 2024. Um, if you aren't familiar with Lemax Spooky Town, it's basically like a Halloween village display. So, we have a ton of pieces that we have purchased. Yeah, so let's get into it. <laughs> let's get into it. Also, be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video for like kind of a bonus section. We have some additional pieces we've purchased that are new to us that aren't actually 2024 pieces. They're like older. So, but we got them new to us this year. So let's do this. Let's do it. All right, so first we have this. It's called The Living End. And it's like a garden type man, -e man eating, -eating plant <laughs> building. Yeah, man eating plant building. And we have a couple of like garden type pieces already, but we absolutely love like the man eating plant style of stuff. Yeah. So we couldn't pass this up. This one's super fun. It's got, sorry, we've got kind of a little bit of a glare. But you can see it's got all sorts of like man-eating plants on there, vines crawling up the side of the building. And then we also, to go with it, got some little accent pieces. These are like some trick-or-treaters that are encountering one of these man-eating plants. It's very shiny. <laughs> And then we also got several more plant type ones. Keep on the path, this one says. And it's got like, the flowers have like eyeballs coming out of them. And then this one is a pack of several different plants in like planters with eyeballs and faces. So that one will be fun. And then we also have this, it's like witches gardening. There's like a little garden gnome and pumpkins. They're just doing their garden. There's mushrooms in there. And I'm very excited for this edition because I love the witch theme. I and we're probably going to do the witch theme this year. Yeah, we haven't done the witch theme in at least a year, maybe two. Yeah, it's been a while. So, probably going to do the witch theme, and that will be really fun. Um, another theme that we're working on is our water themes. So, this is a piece that we got this year. And... It's a boat, and you can see that there's zombies trying to get the guy. It's pretty cool. So Yeah, the zombies are like coming up out of the water, and it just looks pretty awesome. They've got like this green tint to them. What is this piece called? Fairy, Fairy on, on the River Sticks. Fairy on River Sticks. And so that will be, we don't have a ton of water pieces yet. We're trying to work on that. Um, so this will be a really nice addition for that. Another piece we got this year is this graveyard setup platform. This one's called Haunted Souls Graveyard. And this one's kind of cool because you can make this pretty easily on your own. Hi, hello. Uh, <laughs> you can make this pretty easily on your own by just like getting a grass, like they do like sheets of grass or like a grass platform. And then like they do different kinds of tombstones. I see them like almost every year. Um, and, and then- fence pieces and- Yeah, fence pieces. But the nice thing about this that Nick was saying was that it's all like glued together. So like the fence pieces do tend to fall over pretty easily. So this is super nice so that we can it help our hard. graveyard display because that's another theme we work on is graveyards. So. Yeah, so that'll be really, really fun. And this one also comes with like a big like mausoleum style and then like 
these cool like angel statues here and then this big piece here comes with the tree as well another piece we got this year that's kind of on the smaller side it's more of an accessory piece but it does light up which is pretty fun you've got some little people dressed up here roasting marshmallows over this campfire inside a jack-o-lantern and it does the the fire kind of like flickers yeah it's a light up piece it's a light up piece i don't know if this is focusing there we go And even if you have that battery adapter, you can still plug it in. We like to plug in all our pieces because then you can just turn it on with one switch. Yeah, rather than having to like turn every individual piece on. So these ones that are like have battery packs, you can plug them in. Too. Still plug them in so that you can do that. The only exception is there's a few buildings that have to wind down after you turn the switch off. So those ones we have to turn on and off manually. Otherwise, it breaks them. Yeah, we do have one that got broken um, from that exact for that exact reason. Yeah, it's a ghost around. Is there a way for them to know which piece? Well, when, like if they have a piece like that that they can't. The way you can decipher is when you turn the wheel off, completely click it off. If the piece still moves, that means it's one of those pieces that have to wind down before you shut the power off. So that's something to be aware of when you're setting up a village. So yeah, check your pieces before you decide if you're going to, like how you're going to connect them and if you're going to try to do it all on one switch like that. Um, and if you have any pieces that do that, um, keep them separate and yeah. turn them on and off separately so that they don't get broken. Yeah, I just end up plugging them into a more um, direct line and then we just turn them on with the switch with the rest of the village after we turn the rest of the village on. So that is a tip so you don't break your pieces. This one is another accessory that we got this year. Um, has a headless horseman, death, a knight, and they're sitting around the fire and this one also has a glowing fire. I think that's the only thing that um, lights up on this piece. This piece is kind of, this is really cool. But it's one of those pieces that I'm like, where do we put this? Like, what theme does it fit with? And that's always one of the fun things is just deciding like how to theme things each year and what pieces go where. And some pieces seem to fit in multiple different spaces. Like they can go in different kinds of themes. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say about this one is there's so many things going on. You can probably fit it in a lot of different themes as a filler piece. Yeah, but let us know if you guys have ideas for what kind of a theme this one would be cool in. Let us know and we'll see if we can do that either this year or next. I don't know when this video is going up. We might have already started yeah. setting up our, our areas this year, but we'll see. All right, this one I am very excited for this year. This is called Amazing Pumpkin Patch, like a uh, dash maze dash ing pumpkin patch. And this one has a lot going on. It's got the little corn stalks or hay bells. What are those in the front? Yeah, corn stalks corn in stalks. the front. It they, has eyes that light up, that yeah. flash on and off. Um, the scarecrows that you can see in the maze, they actually pop up and down. I That's my favorite part because it reminds me of like a haunted house or like a haunted corn maze yeah. where you're just like going through and like the scare actors like popping up at you or like the animatronic is popping up at you. And so I absolutely love this piece for that. That's like my favorite part of Halloween season is going to haunts and stuff. And so this piece just like screams that for me. I'm so excited. And we've been wanting a corn maze or hay maze for a long time. And this is the first year we found one that meets that theme. Since we started collecting anyway, there might yeah. be like older pieces. We haven't like looked into that too closely, but yeah. So we are very excited for this. And then 
to go along with this one, they actually have like a smaller piece that goes kind of with it. All right, so here is that accessory piece. It kind of goes with that big main piece. It has those little black spots in the um, hay bales are also red eyes that blink on and off. Yeah, so it matches it really nicely, but you can set it like off to the side or somewhere and kind of make it yours, design it how you want. So that's also a really cool accessory. And then to go along kind of with that same like farm, I guess you could call it kind of theme. We have this, it's called Creepy Pumpkin Patch. And this one is also really cool. You've got like, it says Haunted Barn, Creepy Pumpkin Patch, Wicked Cider Meal, Pumpkin Patch This Way. And it's kind of just like if you were to go to some... Like farm Halloween festival. Yeah. And like you go in through the pumpkin's mouth. So it makes it really fun because we want we want to do a farm theme. So I don't know if we will, but... We hopefully. might not do a farm theme this year, even though these pieces are awesome and I'm so excited to use them. Just because we've done it yeah. like more recently. It's, it's hard to make a decision on which themes to do <laughs> for what years. <laughs> we can't fit everything. We have too many different pieces, so we have to pick and choose. We only have like three surface areas that we display these in, so we have to choose carefully which themes we're going to go with each year, and we try to rotate through them. Sometimes we'll mix a couple themes into one area. It just depends on space and what the plan is. Yeah, what works. We also got some accessory pieces that would be fun to put in like a farm area. This is like a jack-o'-lantern scarecrow guy and he's pointing to tricks and treats. Kind of fun. And then we have this scarecrow lady. And then we have this one I really love. It's like some bales of hay with crows on it. It says Happy Halloween, it has like a little pitchfork. So it'll be fun to decorate the farm area. This is another new piece from this year. It's called Pumpkin Hollow Motel. And we have hotels, but um, we don't really have a motel. We have a lot of like hotels. Yeah, <laughs> but I really liked the design of this one. Kind of reminds me of those car <clears throat> on cars, how they have the cozy cone. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it reminds me of, but with pumpkins. You know what? This also could kind of be used in the farm area. Like maybe it's like some Disneyland style, like farm park area that people need a hotel to come visit. Yeah. <laughs> so it makes it, it's just kind of a fun piece. It's not huge and. I don't know. I just think it'll work good in different theming um, situations. Yeah, that one's really fun. Then we got this one. It's called Lighted or a Creepy Tree. It is lighted though. Yeah, this one you can plug in and the eyes glow and mouth. I really like um, the Creepy Tree stuff. Nick loves creepy tree stuff. I would like to do a whole like forest at some point, but. <laughs> and this, uh, this one's also really good because like, this is one of those ones that you could use in like just a neighborhood. You could use it in a city area. You could use it in a cemetery. Yeah, it could be themed in many different ways. It kind of reminds me of like the trees off of Snow White. Yeah. <laughs> I like that whole theme so it'd be fun to do a whole forest eventually if yeah. we can. Yeah, that one's really cool. This one is called Fright Night Cinema and I absolutely love the cinema pieces because I worked at a movie theater as a teenager. It was my first job and so I just absolutely love it and I'm like we have to have a movie theater in our town. 
And we actually have a movie theater that we purchased that was like a previous year. And it's called the Mortis Theater. Yes, and it was done before we ever started collecting, so we had to get it off like eBay. Um, and we've been waiting for them to do a new theater, like new, since we started collecting, and they did one! And so I'm very excited for this. We already have a theater, but I mean, you could always use two, you know? These theaters, I don't know, they just give me like an, old theaters give me like an excited feeling. I like the whole cinema theme and it's like nostalgic and it feels very like spooky. Yeah, like haunted cinema. Halloween-y. I really like that theme. Oh, and then we also have this little accessory piece we got that it's like a, a yeah, it's Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein. And they are uh, going to the movies. They have like their popcorn buckets. Oh, that's a fun piece. So it'll be fun to kind of set out next to the theater. All of the accessory pieces add a lot to your town, so it makes it feel more... Um, Realistic. Yeah. Like so there's actually like, stuff happening. Yeah, it's not just buildings. It's uh, a town that where trick-or-treaters are trick-or-treating and people are doing things. And then speaking of trick-or-treaters, we also got these little trick-or-treater accessory pieces. They have their dogs with them who are also dressed up. We like doing the trick-or-treat villages because it's very, like, nostalgic Halloween. Yeah, so Spooky Town is kind of... They do a lot of, like monster pieces real monsters and yeah like instead of like a real human person dressed in a costume they'll do a lot of like um zombies and werewolves a skeleton and... guy yeah Oops. <laughs> <laughs> they'll do like a skeleton guy and stuff like that like you saw like the uh frankenstein and bride of frankenstein like just going to the movie theater, like, you know, yeah. it's like a monster village. So it's kind of fun to also have like the more realistic, like it's actual human beings in costumes. Yeah. And we like, we like to do, um, villages like that every once in a while. This one's one of our very big pieces. This one's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> this one will, um, go in our carnival theme. It's called Phantom Castle. It's a dark ride. Um, the little cars uh, drive around the track and it has sound and lights and all sorts of things. It's kind of funny. I think it's like a dark ride, but I think they also kind of tried to theme it as like a roller coaster. Yeah. And the little cars with people in them just like come flying over on the belt that they're on and they're like bouncing around <laughs> they jiggle down the whole belt <laughs> and i've seen some people comment that like they don't like that like it bothers them they're not going to be getting the piece because of it i think it's hilarious <laughs> <laughs> we actually think it's really funny so that was actually like more reason to buy the piece <laughs> yeah. but we so. have a big um a lot of carnival pieces so we try to get the best ones to add to our carnival theme. Yeah. So we love this one. Very excited for it. Probably won't be displaying it this year. We did the carnival last year, so you can check that out. Yeah, um, we will. We did um, record a couple of videos of our town, like us setting up, and then like at the end it shows like the finished setup. So if you guys want to see that, I will link that in the description. And yeah. yeah. And then in the future, we will definitely be displaying this one. In our carnival. In our carnival. And here is one of the accessories that goes with um, the carnival theme. It's like a werewolf ring collar or whatever they call them <laughs> yeah, for the circus. <laughs> so step right up if you dare. So that'll be so a really fun addition. I always like the werewolves, so. Nick loves like the werewolf. Dog man, all that type of stuff. Um, another new piece we got um, accessory is this little truck. Has a bunch of bones in the. Oh 
know, it's like hard to focus, but yeah, there we there go. There we go. <laughs> it has a bunch of bones in the back of the truck. I don't know, it just kind of seems like a fun accessory that um, will be fun to try to find a way to theme it. Did we need it? Probably not, but I can't turn down a good vehicle piece. I mean, your town's got to have a vehicle, a couple of vehicles driving around, you know? <laughs> yeah. And it's a cool one. I like the paint job on it. Yeah, it's like rusted kind of. Here's another um, couple groups of accessories. This one's like those old newspaper bins. So you can just place these throughout your different towns. It's nice to have a lot of general pieces that you can just put wherever to fill spaces. And we have a big cemetery graveyard theme, so. This is what I was talking about. You can always find like grave stone, headstone Headstones, yeah. pieces. So it's nice to pick those up when you can, so you can just make a big cemetery graveyard theme. This I'm very excited about. Like I said, we have a lot of like motel, hotel type pieces. This one is called the Haunted Hotel Haven. And I, even though we have so many hotel pieces, I could not pass this one up because there's a little like service elevator. It reminds me of Tower of Terror at like Disney. And then you can actually see in the windows the shadow of like the elevator going up and down. And I just think that that is so fun. And then when it goes all the way down, a little um, service cart pushes out of the elevator. And yeah. there's a little guy in the swimming pool that that's floating in a tube that moves back and forth. So And there's like a Kraken arm coming out of the pool. There's a lot of just The like, soundtrack's kind of funny on it. There's a lot of cool features on it. Yeah. It's really fun. And like the guy's like, or the lady, one of them's like, look, honey, there's like, they even have a crack in here. <laughs> it's really funny. So I'm excited for that. And then this one also, um, we got this accessory that could be kind of fun to put with it. It's um, a bellboy. Yeah. He's got a little tray of like wine or something with some food. Very Sorry, it is so hard to, to focus, focus these, these especially to the plastic, but. Yeah, it's wanting to reflect off the plastic. Smoke and Mirrors Magic Shop. This is one I really wanted. Um, there's just a lot of cool features on it. There's um, one of those things like you see in Haunted Mansion where it's like the face is indented so it looks like it's looking at you wherever you um wherever look you at the move, piece like it looks like it's following you and like watching you even though it's just still it's just there's a lot of like cool visual effects on this piece there is a lot of cool visual effects on this one i will say this is really fun um i personally did not want this piece the only reason i didn't want it is because there is a rabbit on it that pops out of the hat and it like pops out of the hat. <laughs> like it's like, Poof! and it's like really loud. And I will say if you are interested in getting started into Halloween villaging, um, keep in mind there are pieces that are just a light bulb that goes in the building and it's just lit and it doesn't make any sound, any movement, no soundtrack, nothing. And those pieces actually can be really, really nice. I actually, the more we do this, the more I find that I really like those because some of them like this can be pretty aggressive, even if you don't have the soundtrack going, um, cause some of them do have soundtracks so you can turn it on and it will be like, hello, welcome to our humble abode or whatever it <laughs> says. And, um, so, and you can turn that sound down so that it just has the motor going. But with pieces like this, they can still be very like jolting and loud and just noisy motor sounds. And if you don't want that either, you're then turning it all the way off 
no soundtrack, no motor, and then your piece is just kind of sitting there. You don't get the full, like, effect of it. It's definitely a piece you don't want to put in an area like a bedroom where you're just, like, trying to relax. Like, if you're trying to, like, have it on while you're, like, watching a scary movie or something. Um, so I actually... I love these pieces. I love the soundtracks. I love the animations that they have, but they can get quite noisy to where I find myself not turning on our village a whole lot because I'm like, it's too noisy. And also I'm like afraid because like, I don't want to wear them out. Like the longer your village is on and running, like these motors and pieces are going to wear out. So that is something nice about just like a light, a plain old lighted building as well. So keep that in mind if you want to get into this. These are super, super fun, but there's benefits to both. And there's kind of, there's different levels. Like there's the basic lighted pieces that have light bulbs, but there's also basic lighted pieces that have LEDs all over them. So that's like kind of an in-between. And then there's yeah, the true. ones with lights and sound and then... There's ones with light, sound, and movement, so you kind of just have to look into the piece, maybe watch a video on YouTube to figure out if it's a piece you want in your village. Yeah, there's some people out there that will go like more in depth with these, and they'll take them out of the boxes, and they'll show you like all the movements and the soundtrack and everything, and also like I think just like Lee Max's website will show you like yeah. all of that as well, and it will tell you if it's like lighted or. Um, soundtrack and all that stuff so definitely something to keep in mind but we love these these are so fun yeah all right that wraps it up for our new for 2024 pieces we are now going to get into our little bonus section here these are pieces that are new to us but they are they were released previous years prior to 2024 what have we got so to start out these ones don't have boxes, so you'll be yeah. able to see it a little bit better. They had like the styrofoam that they came in, but the... The box was gone, but this kind of goes with our carnival theme. This one is lighted, it has sounds, um, and it's a really cool um, clown piece that we've wanted for a while. So we can put that in our carnival the next time we do it. That one's fun. And another piece we got that just has the styrofoam and no box is this piece. Um, Do you have any idea what year this was when you bought it? Did it say? I don't remember, but... I'm just... It looks so different than they make them now. Like, the grass, like... And if you can see, the grass is, like, fuzzy. It's so different than how they do things now. Kind of cool. But these, um... These haunted trees move back and forth, and there's it's lighted. Um, there's no sound to it. So this one will be a fun piece for, like, a haunted forest area. More of those creepy trees that Nick loves. This one is called Bailey and Bella Pet Shop. And this one is from 2022, and I have been wanting this one... I think since 2022, yeah. I convinced myself that year that I did not need it. And I've been sad about it ever since. So we went for it this year. Um, this one I really love because this one is just a lighted building. I believe, right? It's just a light bulb. Yeah, it just has a light bulb that you put in the back of it. One single light bulb. And I, like I said, I'm really starting to see the benefit and pros to that style so it would be nice to build up our collection there um and it's kind of to go along with like the whole like realistic theme so it's like just humans in a pet shop that have decorated for halloween yeah you can we we like to do a theme where it's like a real town that has fun features to it it's hard though because i feel like those pieces are kind of more far and few between, especially like the accessory, like the people pieces. So you gotta grab them when you see them, but yeah, this will be really fun for like a more realistic. Yeah, you can you can mix it into a trick or treat village to kind of fill in those gaps. Yeah, so I'm very excited for this one and I love animals. And so I just think that this is super fun. 
such well, a cute piece. If you have a town, you need all sorts of buildings for all sorts of things. Yeah. <laughs> so. Don't get me wrong. I love like the non-realistic as well. And I love the animated and all that. It's just nice to have variety. Especially yeah. like we do set up um, a town in our bedroom on our dresser. And that one is nice to have more just like solid lit, um, non-mechanical some of them some of them have like super flashy like strobe lights and it's like yeah, they're trying to watch tv in the dark <laughs> another thing to be aware of is some of them have like representations of lightning and so that can be distracting when you're watching tv yeah um while having your pieces on mm-hmm. this is one it's from 2008 and it is called Slasher Rivals. It has a chainsaw guy and a guy with an axe and they chase each other around in a circle. So that one will be kind of fun just to have in a a scary like monster type town. Or it would kind of be fun in like a graveyard too, I feel like. Yeah, that's true. It's one of those that I feel like it could go in a lot of different like themed areas. Yeah, it's a nice piece because just for that reason where you can theme it for different types of towns to fill in spaces that might just be empty otherwise. I think it's funny, though. I feel like it's funny that it's like two, like, killers chasing each other instead yeah. of, like, a normal person running from, like, a killer. <laughs> I think that's why I like it, just the irony of it. It kind of looks like Freddy and Jason, too, to be honest. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah, it does. So, kind of fun. This piece is called Cave of Skulls. Um, it's kind of a fun one. It is lighted behind this ghoul. And also the ghoul is made to jiggle around. So It looks like it's like moving and like... Ooh. <laughs> so that one is kind of a piece as well that can be fit into many different towns. This one's from 2013. This is one I've wanted for a while, so it'll be fun to find a place to fit it in this is a, another accessory piece from a previous year and it's got like a couple of skeleton dudes sitting in a boat fishing there's a shark in front of it it'll um we have a, a water platform that we made and so it'll be a good addition to fill in our water theming yeah, and then we also have another one that would be kind of good for water. It's like a skeleton guy sitting on a rock. Looks like he's like pulling like a note or like a map out of a bottle, like a message in a bottle. Looks like he got marooned or something on a small island. <laughs> yeah, or maybe he's sending the message because of that. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> so those will be fun to put on our water theme. Yeah, and then we got this, it's like a blood bank, sorry, I'm trying so hard to get this to focus. Uh, there we go. We got this guy, it's like a blood bank, is it a blood bank? Yeah, it's like a blood delivery driver. It says drink blood, <laughs> yeah, maybe it's like a Uber. Yeah, He's for like, vampires. Yeah. It's like bringing the blood. So it's just kind of a funny piece to add into one of the villages. So that goes along with like the not realistic. It's like an actual like monster town. Same with this. This is like a headless horseman. This one is actually really cool. Let's see if I can get this to focus. It's like got the jack-o'-lantern head. He's on his horse. You gotta have a headless horseman in your town somewhere i don't i feel like this might be fun in like a cemetery yeah am i just is that like ichabod yeah. is that what i'm thinking of does he ride through the cemetery i think so i think kind of the legend is um based around the cemetery too so that'll be fun we're trying to build up our cemetery area as well so be nice to have that addition and this one is our last big piece this one's actually from 2022 yeah it's one that i've wanted since then and kind of like the bailey and bella like he convinced himself he didn't need it 
and then decided he actually does. It has a great soundtrack, probably one of the best soundtracks, so... It's really a fun piece. I love the windmill. I love the, like, slime goop stuff. There's, like, an alligator. I'm not really sure why, but it's really fun. I think that's one of the reasons we kind of convinced ourselves we didn't need it, is because we were kind of like, where are you going to put this? Like, how does this fit into, like, a theme? Well, that's also kind of the fun of it, is... Figuring that out. Figuring that out. Yeah. The challenge of it. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be fun. I'm excited for it. It could it could probably go like honestly like by our water area too. Yeah, I was thinking maybe a good theming for it since it has the alligator would be next to our water platform somehow. Yeah, it's like a swampy area over there or something. Yeah. Then the last one we got um, for this year. This is actually a Department 56 piece. Um, we don't do a whole ton of Department 56. Um, I would say the main reason for that is really just because we got started with Spooky Town. And we just kind of stuck with it. Yeah? Yeah. But it is kind of fun to um, get some of these pieces and mix them in. And it really makes your town fun and adds a little bit of... Um, variety to it and we love Adam's family this is an Adam's family one so that'll be fun and I think it's pretty old um let's see 2019 maybe oh so it's not that old but it will be fun to add to our cemetery yeah that'll be really fun to add to our cemetery um one thing I do want to say though if you are wanting to start a town and you're not sure do I do Spooky Town, do I do Department 56? Do I do both? If you want to do both, just be aware there are differences. Like, I've seen a lot of Department 56 pieces, and I don't think they're all this way, but the, like, characters, like the figurines, like the people and stuff will be, like, really, really shiny. Or really, really big. Or, yeah, the proportions will be so way it's off. it's hard to mix them in, so you have to kind of be aware and take that into account and see it in real life to see if it will fit into your town. Yeah, so if you can get a look at it outside of the box um, and somehow compare, that would be very helpful to do. Um, because yeah, they the pr proportions, but honestly proportions can be kind of funky even within like- Spooky town. If you stay within spooky town, um, can be kind of funky too. So, you know. Sometimes you want to try to put the bigger characters closer and some of the smaller ones farther away. And then it's like a that perception. Depth. Yeah. Depth perception um, look to it. Another thing I feel like I've noticed about Department 56 versus Spooky Town. Um, Spooky Town does seem like they are starting to trend more towards like very plasticky pieces. Where I feel like they used to do back in the day more like heavy duty porcelain pieces and they still do that sometimes but I feel like department 56 does a lot more like porcelain they feel nicer quality to me but they also don't feel as like animated they don't yeah. have as many like moving pieces and fun soundtracks and stuff like that and so, some of the lighting is more basic more basic so that's something to take into consideration as well like are you wanting like a nicer higher quality looking less mechanical just a solid lit building if so department 56 might be the way to go if you're wanting more like crazy movements funky Fun sound soundtracks soundtracks and lights and whatnot spooky time might be the way to go and they both are so great. They both have so many fun pieces. So I think we usually take it on an individual basis because there's really great pieces in both. There really, really are. They're both um, very fun. Both brands. So yeah, we do try to take it piece at a time because some pieces on Department 56 are awesome and some are in Spooky Town are awesome. Yeah. So we just kind of mix them in together. And these are all very expensive. Both brands, I would say, are very expensive. I think Department 56 might be a little bit more expensive than Spooky yeah, Town. They tend to be higher higher priced. And I think they tend to be higher quality too, personally. So 
you get what you pay for. It's kind of a trade off there. Yeah. So anyway, this has been super fun. I am so excited to start like planning what pieces we're going to use and what themes we're going to do and setting this all up. And we are going to do at least one video. Maybe we'll break it up between like our different like areas that we do. We'll see. But so that will be coming down the line. So stay tuned if you want to see our setups. And yeah, thank you for coming along and seeing our 2024 haul. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it's been great. Um, and let us know too. I'm curious. Um, if you do Halloween Villaging, let us know. Do you do Spooky Town, uh, Lee Mike Spooky Town, or do you do Department 56? Uh, what is your favorite theme? Let us know all the things. And thank you guys so much for joining us for another adventure. In this wondrous weird world.